What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. So I'm here to drop smoke on my man, Nash. Apparently, Nash is some sort of, or he's another, anonymous, no receipt dropping PUA of Twitter. Pick up artist, in case you don't know. He's a woman expert. Got tens of thousands of followers. Everybody listens to him. I don't know why everybody listens to these anonymous guys who never drop any receipts. Every single time, one of these anonymous guys actually end up not being anonymous. He's like some fat loser slob, you know, or just some lame. I, I can guarantee you that this guy is the same way. I can tell by the way he's talking, but I, you know, whatever. I'm not upset at him. He's, he's got his little, he's got his grift and, you know, let him have it. But anyway, should I address the anonymous thing right now? Yeah, let me address the anonymous thing right now before I get into what he was talking about. Anons are all fakes. I don't care. You know what? Anons are like, oh, I'm too important. I, if I say something, I'll lose my job or whatever else. It'll harm my life. You know what? It's one or two things. No, it's just one thing. You're not that important. And you're in a position where you quote unquote are important, but then you can't say what you want. You're not a free man. So you can't be that important because important people can say what they want. Trump, you know what he does? He says what he wants. He's an important dude. He has power. He's made himself a life to where he has power, to where he can speak how he wants, where he wants, when he wants. Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, they say what they want. Get banned, they come back. If you're an Anon, you're a lame. You haven't built yourself a life to where you can say what you want. You're not that important. Because if you are important, if you are a person of authority and power, of significance and influence, you can say what you want. So anyway, getting into what Nash is talking about. So, you know, there's this guy carrying his, his woman's handbag. Apparently Nash thinks this is cool, you know. And I put next to it a picture of my wife tying the shoes, the one that broke, you know, Muslim internet. And uh, I said, which way, Western man? And, you know, he's like, oh, you know, little boys, some goofy stuff about, you know, being a little boy, can't tie a shoe, whatever else. You know, and this is, <laughs> and then he goes in on about, you know, genuine desire. And it's obvious by the way he's talking, he's, he's like saying that, you know, a woman's genuine desire is shown in her kiss. Let me ask you something. Do you think a woman who will tie your shoes is not going to genuinely kiss you? Unless it's your mom, that would be kind of gross. But, you know, otherwise... Go and ask some random woman you work with or whatever else to tie your shoes. Some woman who's just meh about you. Obviously, this guy doesn't understand women. Because when is a woman happiest? When she's doing something for the express pleasure of her man. Women are givers. And they look for ways to please their man. But he doesn't understand this. So what does this guy really know about women? Women who are genuinely desirous of you they are 100 absolute givers that you know what and we'll, we'll i'll say it women who are givers because they are looking for your pleasure your express express pleasure as a man you know what they don't care about they don't even care if they bust a nut in the sexual act those women truly don't care they are worried about making you happy and pleasing you nash doesn't understand this stuff that's why the idea of a woman tying shoes it's crazy to him because he doesn't understand genuine desire in women. If you need more proof than that, I don't know what you need. But let's go further into this. Nash also doesn't understand something as simple as power. You as a man, do you, let me ask you something. Back in the days when men were royalty and whatnot and kings, obviously we're not that, you know, I ain't, we was kings, you know, mentality. But do you think men of importance and power were actually, like, you know, getting dressed on their own or whatever else? No, they left all that stuff to, like, servants and their women folk. It's just how it was. Men of authority, men of a power, they have people around them that want to do stuff for them because they want that person to be pleased with them. <gasps> like the woman. But he doesn't understand this. This is something that this guy will never understand. You know why? Because he doesn't experience it. That's a dang shame. Because so many of you are out there taking like dating and PUA tips from a guy like this who doesn't understand the basic fundamental nature of women. That they are pleasers when they truly are desirous of you. And they will do anything.
anything. They will commit crime. They will give you their money. They will do everything that they shouldn't do for guys they probably shouldn't do simply because they desire them. Keep listening to these clowns. He's going to get you guys wrecked. Man, I will wreck them out.